Hi everyone, it's Darlene. Welcome back for another card video. Today I have a realistic looking starfish from the Stampin' Up! Picture Perfect set, along with my giant set of nested circles by We Are Memory Keepers. I'm gonna start with some Distress Oxide ink. I'm just showing you that I have just two applicators and I just switch out the foam tops. I'm gonna use Walnut Stain in the corner. I'm using a piece of Canson XL Mixed Media paper. It's a very thin, bright white paper. And so I'm gonna cover up the corner here and this is gonna be my sand. And then I'm gonna move on to faded jeans. I'm just moving in circles kind of off the edge of my cardstock, moving on to the cardstock. I'm just making sure that I'm gonna have all three of these colors within the circle that I'm gonna cut out. And then finally, my last color is gonna be Broken China. I have a whole review on these oxide inks, which are fantastic for ink blending. They're really easy to do, and you don't have to worry about getting a lot of those uh, circles or, or square marks from the applicator. All right, so it looks like I've got my colors pretty well blended here. I blended the blues really well, but I just sort of touched the Broken China and Walnut Stain together, because I really didn't want them to mix. I wanted it to look more like a beach. Next, I'm gonna spray this with a pretty generous amount of water. And I'm just sort of trying to find something on my craft mat to poke this with. I just grab my pick-me-up stick. And I have a tissue here, and I'm gonna pick up any pools of water that I see. I'm not gonna use my heat tool to dry it. I don't wanna get any water staining. I just want to um, get a nice, smooth, even color. So now, if I had my uh, Distress inks that I was using in this way and using my tissue to pull up the pools of water, it would pull up a lot of the color with it. But in this case, it's not really doing that. It's just kind of blotting out the water, but keeping a, a muted version of the color on the cardstock. And it's really turning out quite nice. Once I had all of the pools of water kind of soaked up and the cardstock was just sort of damp, I left it and I just put it off to the side uh, to dry it for a couple of minutes. And after it dried, I wanted to add some water stains, but I didn't want to remove a lot of the color. I just wanted some very faint water stains. So I'm gonna get some water on this brush. It's just a flat brush. I'm gonna tap it from the top, uh, get some of those water droplets on there. I just sort of let them sit and react a little bit. And I wanted uh, larger ones. Notice I'm wiping the handle of my brush so I don't get any huge drops from the water. So anyway, I put more water and dropped a little bit more so that I could get thicker drops. And I let it sit for just a few seconds. And then I'm just gonna dab a little bit up. I'm not gonna dab in the sand, sand area because I really actually didn't want any, any water stains in there. I forgot to cover it up. But you can see it sort of gives some faded drops. It's not really pulling a lot of color out. So I also wanted to add some white splatters and I always use my Gonzai Tombi watercolors for this because these paints are pretty um, opaque and so when they splatter, they keep their color. So you can see I'm spl splattering some very small white dots just to add a little bit of extra interest to this card. And I'm gonna set this off to dry while I do my starfish. Now I'm using three, actually four different colors of Distress ink. And I'm gonna stamp my first one down. This is a piece of Stampin' Up! Crumb Cake cardstock. And you don't have to use the Misty. There's two steps to this, but I'm actually just going to stamp the first one one time. This is Pumice Stone, so I'm gonna stamp it right there in the middle of my Crumb Cake cardstock. And for the next step, so this is just a two-step stamp, I've went ahead and stamped it on my Stampin'Majig because it's really important to line this up just right because um, it has those kind of star lines in the center of each of the different legs and you wanna make sure that um, the, your second stamp really lines up well. So I'm using brushed corduroy for my second layer, so I'm gonna cover the whole thing with the brushed corduroy, and then I'll use my Stampin' with Jig to make sure that I get right on top. So you wanna hold it and then push all the way down, and then when you pull it up, make sure you pull it straight up off your cardstock. It looks really good with just these two stamps, but I wanted to add a little bit more detail. So I'm gonna take my Gathered Twigs marker, and I'm gonna color kind of where the lines are on this starfish. So I'm gonna do a, a coloring directly onto the stamp. I'm just gonna get my stamp and my jig ready. So when it's time to stamp, I'm ready for it. And I'm gonna color around the star so you can see I'm kind of coloring right around that center area. And then I'm gonna color down one side of that line, that kind of blank line in the middle, and a little bit on the edges as well. And I'm gonna work pretty quickly here because I don't want my ink to dry. 
And then here's an important step is I'm taking a sponge dauber and I'm kind of tapping the edges of where I've put the marker so it doesn't look like I've drawn on the stamp and it just sort of fades out. Um, and then I'm gonna huff on it. I don't know if you really need to, but I thought it couldn't hurt. So I did that and now I'm gonna stamp it down and this is gonna give me just that one little extra step of dimension. So I'm gonna go straight down, press firmly, and then straight up. And you can see, I personally think it made a really big difference to, to add this extra little step. It looks really realistic. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Just like I did with the background, I'm gonna grab my Gonzai Tumbi white paint and my paintbrush, and I'm just gonna tap on a little bit. You can see I've got a lot of water, and whenever I get too much water on my brush, I kind of get rid of some of it on my craft mat and that seems to help because if you have too much water you're going to get big droplets and I really just wanted some tiny ones. All right I'm going to put this off to the side and work on the rest of my background. Now this is an A2 size four and a quarter by five and a half inch uh, Nina cardstock and I wanted to create a very subtle frame um, for my starfish in the circle. So I'm gonna score it at 1 8 of an inch in on all sides. So you could use it going inward or outward, whatever side you want. I'm gonna use mine going outward, um, like toward me, and then I'm gonna put my circle right there in the center. This is the 3 and 3 quarter inch size circle. And then I'm gonna cut my starfish out with a scissor. And I'm gonna have those crumb cake edges because that's the color of my cardstock. So I just took a sponge dauber and my walnut stain ink, and I'm not really coloring the front of the starfish. I'm really more focused on coloring the sides where you could see that crumb cake cardstock. And then I put some ATG tape runner on the back of my circle panel. You could pop it up if you wanted to, but I wanted mine to be flat with the cardstock, and that sort of helps um, straighten out any warping you might have from the watercolor. Um, I got a little bit on the edge so I just rubbed it off with my finger and I just centered it right there so that I had some of the sand on the left and then the dark blue faded jeans on the right and then I just flattened the whole thing out. I'm going to use one of the sentiments that comes in the set called Just a Note and I'm going to put it in my Misty. I'm going to put it in the top area of the circle just to balance out the starfish and stamp it with some Hero Arts black ink. And uh, then I'm going to adhere this panel to a card base, just my regular A2 size. And then I used some Stampin' Up! Dimensionals, which I cut in different size pieces to pop up the starfish. And so I'm going to take the release backing off and just put it right there so that it's um, off the circle because I think the white really makes it um, stand out when it, the white is in the background. So it's kind of like on the beach a little bit and, and in the water as well. And so that is the card for today. I think this starfish is really cool looking. I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.